Antarctica is more than just a sheet of ice. There are hints at parallel universes, ancient species tucked away for millions of years, and not to mention the very eerie Red Falls. Antarctica might have just revealed proof of an alternate universe existing, except this one goes back in time. Our fascination with parallel universes started around the 1960s, when sci-fi and comics started delving into wild ideas about alternate universes that resembled ours. Scientists were doing some research in Antarctica due to the fact that there would be no interference with any city radio waves or something sciencey like that. However, while doing a cosmic ray detection experiment, they discovered particles going outwards in the opposite direction of our Earth. What I mean by this is that there is always a so called constant wind of high energy particles that comes to our Earth due to our gravity. The lesser dense particles are able to go straight through us and continue their direction on the other side. Universe is constantly expanding, and so are the particles in a very specific direction. So to have particles quote unquote leave our Earth and go the opposite way raises questions that there might have been a second universe created in the Big Bang. Their universe rules, if it exists, would be very different from ours. When we drop an egg, it breaks and reveals the yolk. But in that universe, it starts as a messy yolk on the ground and then transforms back into the egg. There's not much else to this discovery yet, but still eerie nonetheless. There are extremely odd 1300 feet long blue configurations beneath the snow. Mysterious blue sand dune shaped structures found on the underside of the Dotson Ice Shelf. An ROV vehicle decided to take a spin underneath the glacier and went as far as 1000 kilometers before it made this discovery. It's sadly not some cool hidden city or structure beneath the ice, but rather it's proof that the ice is melting at an alarming rate. The grooves, valleys, and bumps that they discovered, from my understanding, is that the water, as it's now getting warmer, has started melting the underside of these ice sheets. The oddly eerie patterns are based on the way the current carries them, giving them their wavy or curved appearance. It baffled them because they had never thought to actually check the underside of the ice sheets, only the top of them or the rise in fresh water. So now they're thinking, oh poop, there's a lot more here than we should be observing. Because there are grooves here that are 40 years old and a bunch more that are recent, as in two years old. The researchers working on this stated they will be keeping a close eye on these patterns and how much faster they start appearing over the years. Did you know there were five new meteorites that were found in Antarctica back in 2023? I think my favorite photo is the one where four of the researchers are posing around one of the 17 pound rocks submerged in the ice. This specific meteor now marks the heaviest outer space rock to have ever been discovered in Antarctica. They were located on the surface of Nils Larsen Blue Ice Zone. And you'd be surprised that there were a total of 50,000 meteorites ever discovered in Antarctica. Antarctica, but only 100 of them have ever been close to the same size and weight as this bad boy right here. Maria Valdez, who is a meteor who is a meteoriticist stated, size doesn't necessarily matter when it comes to meteorites, and even tiny micro meteorites can be incredibly scientifically valuable. But of course, finding a big meteorite like this one is rare and really exciting. They apparently didn't hit the earth recently though, but in fact have been speculated to crash into our planet thousands of years ago and are only reappearing now because of the upheaval motion of the glaciers that surrounded them. However, thankfully due to the fact that they've been covered for so long and were hidden from the elements, they were still in pristine condition. People are claiming that there is a supposed ancient civilization beneath the ice. I'm not too sure about that one, Chief. This theory has been percolating around for years, with theorists even claiming about there being hidden bases from past battles, or even alien UFOs being frozen in ice. The biggest theory that has become so popular is the alleged Californian crew from 2002. Rumor has it that there was this camera crew that went missing in Antarctica, and the only thing that was left behind when a rescue team went searching for them was their camera equipment. On the recording, supposedly, they captured video proof of ancient structures beneath the ice. There is very little known about this event even happening, with only one article that supposedly gives a more in-depth 
explanation as to what happens afterwards. The title of it states, US Denies Spectacular Ruins in Antarctica Video. The company's spokesperson for Atlantis TV had stated, however, that video is our property. We shot it, it's ours. And as soon as it's rightfully returned to us, we're going to air it. End of story. A National Science Foundation researcher, who was only told about the contents it possessed, said, It apparently showed spectacular ruins and other things they couldn't go into. We chalked it up to some sort of sub-zero induced delusion until a chopper full of Navy SEALs landed and picked them up and took off. Now we're scratching our heads. The US apparently denies any of this even occurring to this day. So unless the video gets leaked, I guess we'll never know. Could you imagine trying to hibernate in Antarctica? Back in 2020, the ancient Lystrosaurus was discovered by a group of scientists and was speculated to have been there for 250 million years. How did it get up there? Well, with the theory of Pangaea, when the world was allegedly all connected as one big piece of land, animals were able to explore every part of it. To add on, there was also the theory that Antarctica was actually once a warm and forested environment, being home to many different types of wildlife. This theory is quite strong since over the last few decades they have been finding dinosaur fossils and other hints at vegetation. With this little guy popping up now, a new theory is percolating that hibernation has been an ancient practice rather than a recent one. When researchers are trying to gather information about ancient species, they look towards their fossils. And thankfully, this discovery gave them the gift of the animal's tusk. Through the tusks, scientists are able to see what the animal was like before it had passed on, which included learning about their growth, metabolism, and their physiological state. When hibernation occurs, animals lower their metabolic and heart rate, just teetering on the verge of passing on. And that's what these tusks were telling scientists. Not only that though, it seemed like this little guy was in a lot of physiological stress, and some theories suggest he had probably gotten stuck up there and wasn't able to find its way back into a more temperate area. The incredibly disturbing Red Falls of the Antarctic. This insane anomaly was discovered back in 1911 during a British expedition. Scientists at the time had no idea what this was and thought it was actual bodily fluids coming non-stop from somewhere. It was it wasn't until the early 21st century that researchers then went back and started taking samples from it to see what was really going on beneath the ice. Ken Livy from Johns Hopkins University stated, As soon as I looked at the microscope images, I noticed that there were these little nanospheres and they were iron rich. These were ancient microbes too and are speculated to have been beneath the ice for millions of years. And because of all the silicon, calcium, aluminum, and sodium that this area harbored, once it escaped into the world and met oxygen in sunlight, it gave off its really creepy crimson color. This also brings hope that there are other life forms on other planets that harbor intense cold climates and that are rich in microbes and minerals beneath their ice sheets. Which Antarctic discovery is your favorite? Let me know down below and I will see you all in the next video.